Hey, good evening. Thank you very much for being with us. First on to why did he shoot? A question detective still trying to answer tonight. 24 hours after a man opened fire on police in Hillsboro, wounding one officer. K2's Tom Jensen is live in Hillsboro. Tom, the suspect here did not have an extensive criminal past. Not extensive. One domestic assault uh, arrest about six years ago in California, but nothing that would indicate to officers here that he would be a danger when they arrived on the scene to do a welfare check on the suspect, Sep Tokenaga. The crime scene is all Hillsboro police detectives have to go on right now. They spent a good part of the day here at the home on First Avenue trying to learn as much as they can about the man who shot and injured a fellow officer. We hadn't contacted him or had other, you know, there, were, there was no caution on this uh, residence, which is if we have uh, had other violent altercations there, it would show as a caution. There aren't even any booking photos of 45-year-old Sep Tokanaga, a former Air Force airman his only run-in with the law before was an assault on his ex-wife in California in 2004. Well, he was just getting to the rail trucks. Uh, a next-door neighbor tells K2 Tokanaga was fairly quiet and never caused any disturbances before Thursday's shootout with police. No, no we never had a problem. Miguel Chavez says he and his wife dove to the floor when they heard four gunshots at about 5 Thursday afternoon. We heard the gunshots and uh, we were here so we went on the floor because, you know, when it's shots, several shots, and some, uh, any bullet can fly in this direction and we can get hurt. At this point, police say they are as mystified as neighbors as to why Tokanaga opened fire. They were responding to a call from his psychiatrist who was worried Tokanaga might be suicidal and were hoping to talk to him and calm the situation. But when the officers open the door or he opens the door and, and they're posed with a threat, Initially, all that goes out the window, and it's time to, to try to make everyone safe. Tokanaga and the officer who was shot are expected to make a full recovery after going through surgeries last night. We should know more as the investigation progresses next week. Right now, it looks like Tokanaga will be charged with four counts of attempted murder. We're live in Hillsboro. Tom Jensen, K2 News.